Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. And um, those of you who joined us at 1.30 um, realized that we were having tremendous technical difficulties. So um, technology is great as long as it's working. When it doesn't, it kind of throws everything into a dither. So um, you'll be seeing this um, via um, YouTube. It'll be on Facebook. Um as soon as we're done filming, I will upload it to YouTube and then we'll share that post he, um, here on the Facebook. So, um. But anyway, today is really, really hot in Lusk. We're supposed to get up to 100. Um, that is very untypical weather for us for the middle of June. But we have talked to people in South Dakota and Montana this morning and it was already above 100 in South Dakota, and in Billings, they're anticipating 108 degrees by this afternoon. So we couldn't have picked a more perfect recipe to share today because this is a recipe that you can make without heating up your stovetop or your oven. It's all done in, a, in an electric skillet, so it keeps your um, kitchen cool on really hot days like today. Um, this is a recipe, it's um, called veggie quesadillas. It is from a curriculum that the University of Wyoming Extension developed in 2015 called Real Food. And the emphasis of that curriculum was to encourage people to eat lots more fruits and vegetables and to eat um, less processed foods. So this kind of fits into both of those categories. And um, I have to admit, I was a little skeptical. I'm kind of a meat and potato kind of person. And my husband definitely is a meat and potato person. So um, I was a little skeptical, but after the first time I ate it, it, was, it is amazing and I love it. And even my husband loves these. So I think if you have someone in your family that thinks they always have to have meat and potatoes, this may be a recipe that they also really enjoy. So um, I did all the chopping and prep prior to um, the video today. Otherwise, we'd have been here for two or three hours today. Um, but it's really easy to put together. Um, what we start with is we're gonna use an electric skillet and we're going to first put in um, two tablespoons of um, olive oil. And that's to saute our veggies in. And that gives them a nice rich flavor and helps them really brown um, nicely. So the first ingredient we start with is a half a cup of chopped onions. And today I chopped these in the um, vegetable chopper because you want all the pieces uniform in size and shape. So they cook uniformly and some don't get extra brown while you're waiting for the others to brown. So we'll put those in and they can start browning. Our next ingredients is we wanna come up with a combination of two cups of veggies. So today we're using sweet potatoes, red bell peppers, frozen corn, and some black beans. But you could use whatever your favorite veggies are. You could use green peppers, yellow peppers, you could use mushrooms, some summer squash, some zucchini, um, kind of whatever you like and maybe whatever your garden might have later on in the season. So we're gonna start out with a half a cup of shredded sweet potatoes. And these are raw sweet potato um, that I peeled first and then I grated. Today I used the salad shooter to um, shred or grate these so that they're all nice and uniform and they will cook very, very quickly. You could also do them in a food processor. You could do them on a, um, just a handheld food grater. 
The, our next ingredient is a half a cup of um, red pepper. And again, I use the fruit and vegetable choppers so that all the pieces are uniform in size and shape. I use the bigger um, chopping, um, whatever you call it, grate, um, so that they're a little bigger. The finer um, screen is a little too fine. I like them a little chunkier. Our next ingredient is um, frozen corn. So um, again, a half a cup. And if you like, this is just regular yellow corn. If you like the white corn, you could use it. Um, so kind of, you can mix and match as, as your family would like the combination of veggies. And our last ingredient we're going to use today is um, a half a cup of black beans. And this will add a little protein to your mix and a little um, fiber and, again, a different color. As with all canned beans, you want to open the can, put them in a strainer, and drain off all that um, liquid that comes in the can and then rinse them really well with cool running water that takes off all the extra sodium out of the beans and it also um, eliminates the properties of the beans that often cause gas so we just want to stir this up really good and have we blown And now our electric skillet blew the, <laughs> blew the breaker. This has not been our day for videos. So it won't take long to get it. Well, it keeps popping that off. Ah, dang it. What's your other thing closed There. There. OK. So now we're up and going again. This should have been Friday the 13th or um, something because things are not going as well as planned here. So we're going to add all our veggies into our skillet. And hopefully you can see how pretty color it is. And you want to cook these about four to five minutes until they're tender. You don't want to mush. You just want them to be crispy tender. And so I have the electric skillet on a, at 350. So you could go up to maybe 375. I wouldn't go up any higher than that. And then once those are um, cooked, to the appropriate doneness, we're going to add three-fourths of a teaspoon of chili powder. And again, if your family likes it a little spicier than that, you could add a little more. And then our last ingredient is going to be two tablespoons of lime juice. I just bought the bottled lime juice today, um, but if you have limes, you can squeeze out um, two tablespoons of fresh lime juice from a lime and put that on there. You wanna, um, the lime adds a little zip. It also helps to keep your veggies really pretty colored and, um, just gives it a little um, flair to your, to your dish. So today we are going to be using um, commercially, um, commercial whole wheat tortillas. 
But you can look back on Facebook Live, and we, we did a class on making your own whole wheat tortillas earlier. So if you'd like to do that, Erin um, can go ahead, we'll go ahead and post that recipe again with our quesadilla recipe today. So you could go ahead and um, do that as well, which really makes it um, more the less processed food. But today, thank heavens we didn't decide to make um, the tortillas as well. And I think it was during one of our other takes, we talked about substituting, changing vegetables. You want to? I, thought, I thought we did it for this take as well. But, but again, any combination of veggies that you want to use, you want to come up with about two cups. When we did it for the 4-H kids the other day, um, we had to quadruple the recipe. So we had eight cups of veggies. And then we had just a little dab of corn and a little dab of beans and a little dab of this. So we just dumped it in and um, that way it, it stretched a little further and thank heavens we did because the kids ate them like crazy. So again, you can mix and match the color of peppers you use. You could use summer squash, zucchini, um, <coughs> if you like mushrooms. <coughs> Excuse me.
that is annoying. the quesadilla maker at our house and this is his little tip to getting all the goodies to stay in the quesadilla and not falling off so and again you could use whatever cheese you have at the house um, this is Mexican blend, blend cheese probably. and just lay that on top there and we'll zoom in and kind of show you And again, I've got it at like 350. Kind of see where it's at. I made a mess. I just feel it's funny to have a. The other thing that um, you can do if you don't want to do them this big to have to turn them is just fold your, put your cheese on, put your veggies here, fold it up, and flip it. And I'm a much better flipper at a half than I am a whole. voice is gone today. And um, putting the lid on while you're doing the quesadillas does help hold the heat in and hold <coughs> um, everything kind of together. So we serve them with just salsa and sour cream. Um, you could serve them with avocado, <coughs> cilantro, um, your favorite, whatever your favorite salsa is. <coughs> ridiculous the rest of today has gone. Um, but with that, we'll let it crisp up this edge just a smidge, and then we are um, finished. So again, a very, very easy recipe that truly <laughs> is um, delicious and has been a hit with pretty much everybody we've served it to this year. Um, my husband loves the filling just as a chip dip um, as well. So we eat a um, that way at our house. So with that, I'm going to zoom in, kind of show you what it looks like. Again, mine got a little crispy, but welcome to today. Friday the 13th, also known as June 15th. So delicious quesadilla. Um, we hope everybody will give the veggie quesadillas a shot. And, um, we will be back next Tuesday, <laughs> um, hopefully with better sound and better luck filming. So see everybody then.